We have our first live talk for today here at BASF at K2016. We're talking about the palette loaded with innovation and I'm happy that I have two gentlemen with me on stage who know all about this project and all about the product. To my right side is Holger Heckmann. He has been with the Arma family from the very beginning and Markus Leberfinger who is part of our industrial team at BASF. Good, Good morning, morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Happy to have you here again. I start with you, Holger. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what Arma does, what your plan is, and maybe also why you actually made the first phone call to BASF. Right. Well, it all started two and a half years ago. We wanted to do something disruptive to the pellet industry. There's, there's nothing, not much happened in the last 60 years on a wooden pellet. You know, no innovations were there. So we wanted to do something different. So we started uh, with finding core material, which we wanted to coat. Uh, we uh, made a phone call to BASF in, um, in Boxtel, it was. Ellen came within two days with us, and we started to develop a coating and build a pellet as it is now. Markus, did you do something like this before? Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the product uh, itself? Well, when the phone call came in from Arma and uh, they told us about the innovation and they, their plans, we know about that we need a spray coating, a polyurethane spray coating, which needs to be a very tough, tough means. What does tough means at the end? It means that at least Specifically, you need a perfect adhesion to the MDF. You need a high abrasion resistance and at the same time as well a, a skid resistance so that the loading is not falling off. Holger, why, why are these product features so important also for your business model? Well, the idea is to build a uh, returnable uh, transport <coughs> item, a pallet which uh, will be multiple use. Uh, so we needed to build it modular. Uh, we needed to last for at least 10 years because that's our model. So that's why we needed a sustainable um, design and sustainable material, which would last us 10 years. Okay. And how do, you, how do you plan that returnable pallet system uh, to work? I see that you have a small sensor in your hand here. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us more about that. Yeah, next to the product, we also made it intelligent. So we have uh, several sensors and transponder with a battery, which is active and gives a signal every 30 minutes uh, to gateways via Bluetooth technology. So we can find, uh, uh, we want to build a community and build a pool uh, and members uh, who will use the pellet. Mm -hmm. And they can see always real time, the temperature, the location, uh, even shock moments. We are even working on pressure pads where you can see how many kilograms we have loaded on the pellet. So then we can, all the data will go into a cloud okay. and we can from the cloud call it back, put it in a dashboard and give it our clients to build a really efficiently pooling model. So I can really see it on my, on my smartphone then, what my, how my pallet is doing. Right, yes, yes. And the load which is on it. Okay. Yes. Markus, you already uh, mentioned some of the product features. I'm also interested in learning more about the processing. Did you need to do something special with that? Yes, the special thing about it is that uh, the plan is to produce thousands, hundred thousand of pallets. That means you need a very, very fast process on an automated uh, production line. That means the tech-free time is very important. That means from chemistry side, you need a very fast curing system, spray coating system that you can uh, deload the, the deck from the production line as fast as possible to uh, increase productivity. Um, we have presented um, the, the pallet loaded with innovation at the K press conference in June 28. How has the feedback been so far to the business model, but also to the special connection and the product? Well, on the, on the business model, we have to do a lot of awareness sessions with our clients because the technology is that new that we really have to explain uh, what it could mean in the future for their supply chain. So the, the, the response was huge. Yeah, we selected several industries where we're going to focus on for the next, uh, next time. But uh, we were really, really happy with uh, the response. Um, Markus, is the, the, pro uh, the product that we are delivering uh, to Arma, is it already done and finished? Or is there still some improvement work going on? There might come up some uh, new demands, for example, improved fire resistance and so on. We are working on that as well. But uh, let me do one remark, uh, Richard. Uh, maybe you think about that this surface is very useful for a hygienic applications. Hygienic applications mean uh, using these pellets in, in the food industry or pharma industry. So that means it's very easy to clean and this is a really benefit for those industries. So it's really um, a, a pioneering 
product and a pioneering project, uh, I would say. But I'm also not only interested in the product, but also in the way that you, the two companies, work together. I mean, Arma is a startup company, normally very fast-paced, quick processes, BASF sometimes is maybe a little slower. How do you perceive that collaboration? Well, that's what maybe you would expect from a large company like BSF, but nothing uh, like that was the case. Eh? As from day two, I told you, uh, Alan was with us within a few days, mm -hmm. starting to help us with the spraying. Mm -hmm. And from that time, uh, BASF didn't let go. So we worked together really fast and, and came to a, it's not a prototype anymore. We finished now, the, the design freeze, we are up and running and live. Mm -hmm. But up to now, it went really, really fast together. Same on your side, Marcos? Of course, it's a challenge for us. Uh, Arma is extremely, has a really, uh, is pushing hard. It's a challenge for us that we serve Arma perfectly. And by the way, uh, we have already as well um, a test um, shipment in our BSF at Ludwigshafen between a supplier and Ludwigshafen. It's running already. We are providing tests to Arma and we tested that pellet against a conventional plastic pellet and we can say it's double the double uh, rigidity. Okay. So it has, uh, has a double strength compared to conventional pellets like PP, for example. You, you also have been here, both of you, and also your colleagues have been here at the K-Show for quite some time now. How's the response here? Well, wonderful. Even from the BSF colleagues, uh, they take uh, their clients to our booth, they show the pellets, so the impact is, uh, is huge here for us. So we really have to find a way to uh, pump up the volume and to deliver. Actually, this is our target to help Arma yeah. to be successful. So this is a perfect stage for Arma Absolutely. to multiply uh, their innovation into the market. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, that was very interesting. Uh, again, Markus and Holger will be up here with the pallet, with the sensor for some more questions. Thank you all for joining us and see you again, I think at one, maybe also at three. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Richard.